Hello, we have a computer for a while now. StarCraft, for example, takes forever to load. That is unacceptable. Now, a few years ago, I would tell you to go ahead and buy a new computer. This time, however, I have something else, SSD. Hello, my name is Dongo, and today I'll show you how to migrate your computer's hard drive to a solid-state drive. Okay. To do this, there are a few things you need. First, an SSD. Just go out there and get the one that is a, the most affordable for the amount you need. The most important thing, however, you need to get an SSD that have capacity that is more than the amount of existing data you have on the computer. But for this demo, though, I use one that is 240 gig. Why set it for less when you can have more, right? The second thing you need is a piece of software to clone the hard drive. I use the Acronis True Image. The reason is because this is a very popular software and it can do more than just cloning. But you can use any version that was released on or after 2007. For example, here I use Acronis True Image 11, which was released in 2011. Regardless of what version you use, they all share the same cloning function, which can be accessed from the Tools menu. Now, the third thing you need is an adapter, USB to SATA. If you have a Seagate GoFlake hard drive, you actually can use the adapter part of the drive for the job. And the last thing you need is a screwdriver. Now, let's start with the project. First, you hook the SSD to the adapter. And then you plug it into the USB port of the computer. Now, on the computer, you run the Acronich 2 image. As you see, the software loaded, and you just click on Tools and Clone Disk, and then click Next. Now, you want the software to do the job automatically, so you pick this option. And then, this is an important step. Make sure you choose the source hard disk is the main hard drive of the computer. And then click Next. And now, of course, you pick the destination hard disk as the one you just plug in through the USB port. And if the new drive has some partition or data on it, the software will ask you to delete the partition. And you want to do that. Make sure, though, you do not delete your important information. And then you click Next. Now we see the window, we show the result when the cooling process is finished. You click Next. Make sure you see that the two drives will be exactly the same. You click Next. And then click Proceed. Now the software will ask you to restart the machine for the cloning process to start. You go ahead with the reboot. And then after that, the computer will ask to restart. Now, this will take some time up to an hour, depending on how much data you have on the computer. So I suggest you go ahead and do something like running around the block, do push up or call your mom. Well, maybe not, because it could take you more than an hour. And now, it is done. Just press any button, and the computer will shut down. It is now time for, for us to replace the hard drive with the SSD physically. Now, the hard drive the most laptop can be replaced very easily. With this down, for example, it takes only two screws for the hard drive to come out. And there you go. Now here is the hard drive of my Dell. It is now no more in service. Now I take the SSD now of the adapter, and I would put it back in here. And now I'm going to put the SSD I just cloned earlier into the computer. And now the moment of truth. I'm going to turn the computer on. It is now running an SSD, and you will notice how much faster it boots up. And there you go. And now let's see how much faster StarCraft loads, all right? There you go, much faster. And now if you're still losing, I can help you. For more in-depth information, check out the write-up version of the how-to. There you can also find links to software and other options of Sony State and so on. And don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page or Twitter. You can ask me questions there if you run into a problem. Once again, my name is Dongo, and this has been the CNET how-to on how to migrate your computer from hard drive to solid state drive. 